Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to build this very heavy duty, industrial looking lamp that can be used for home, uh, cabin, or a zombie apocalypse. Let's get started. Now the wood I decided to use for this lamp was actually a 2x10x8 and I need to make just three cuts. Now I'm going to start with the bottom piece here and that was actually cut to 10 half inches long and then I made two other cuts which are for the sides and those are actually measuring 10 inches long. Now on both of my sides here I needed channels and that's where my glass actually slides into and I did that by setting my table saw at 3 8 inches in and then a quarter inch deep. After I made all four of my channels I needed a way to stop the glass from going all the way to the bottom so I took some paint sticks, uh, made a mark on my wood, laid them down at 3 inches and snapped them off and then just sanded it down to make it all smooth. All right, let's briefly talk about staining. Whatever color you want to do yours, that is perfectly fine. I wanted a darker color, and if you like this color, it pretty much came from some golden oak with a little bit of cappuccino mixed in. Just apply that with a brush, and then at the end, I used, oh, let's see, a paper towel and just wiped off the excess. This is kind of what you get when you do that. Next, I made four marks on each side, and they measure an inch and a half from the side and three quarter inch down. This is for these big old massive lag bolts that I'll be putting in here. Now, I always like to drill a small pile of hole and put in a deck screw in one of these marks that I made, and that's just to keep this guy in place while I'm drilling it out. Now, on the other mark, I started out with a 9 16th paddle bit and then stopped when I went through the side. And to finish the hole off, I used a 7 16th paddle bit as well. And that is just to make sure that the wood does not get split when you're putting in these massive lag bolts. So the lag bolt I'm actually going to be using here is a four and a half inch long along with the half inch washer. Now these are both spray painted flat black. And to put these guys down I decided to use a ratchet, tighten them all the way down. Once that is down and secure, remove the other screw and just repeat the drilling process that we did for this guy. Now I decided to put two on the top which are completely not functional at all, they're just for looks. But if you guys decide to do that, Please do not be like me and buy multiple four and a half inch lags. That's something that's not going to be sticking out. So what I actually had to do is cut these guys off at the, the edge here and paint the tips black. So if you do go that route, make sure you get some small ones that do not stick out the other side. Now for the centerpiece that's going to hold my lamp, I used a four by four and I cut that to two and a half inches long. I stained it up with the same color, so leftover stain there. Drilled out two holes, and that's just to hold it in place, and those are just two wood screws. And for the center, I used a 15 16 drilled all the way through the bottom. Now you got a choice to make. Decide which is going to be the front of the lamp and which is going to be the back. Once you've decided that from the hole that you just made, make a channel that's going to the back. This is going to be for your cord, so it'll lay flat. I like to use a Dremel, make a big mess, so make sure you do it outside. And after I made my channel, put my cord in there to make sure it laid flat, and it did. And after that, I just applied some stain. Now at this point, aside from the glass, we're ready to put whatever kind of fixture you want in there. And you could go the route of lamp, which I got this at Lowe's, and it's uh, like $12, give or take. Or LED lights would be good as well. But I went the zombie apocalypse route. It went to a junkyard and took out some brake lights out of an old, some old cars. Attach that by soldering it to an old 12 volt adapter that uh, I think was used for fan. So this will fit in that hole I drilled out. Pull that through. And I did have to modify the side here a little bit with the Dremel, but I just rounded it off so it would fit in there nice and snug and lay that in a channel. Now for the final step, uh, this is a uh, glass pane and they're 7 by 11. They just came from the dollar store out of some picture frames and I just frosted them. I'm going to slide them down and they should be snug. There we go. Alright, so that's, that's good for the sides. When you want your power on, which is run from a battery bank, flip this on and your light comes on. Alright, All right. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Take care. And God bless.